different. Who are you under there? I'm vengeance. Hey, what's up guys and girls? This is Midori, and I'm finally back for another episode of Draw Midori. Now, I'm finally back, and the new subject I will be working on today is... And with the Batman, I hope you guys know that there's going to be a new movie to come out sometime in March of next year. It's, it's sort of a soft reboot of, uh, of Batman. You know, we had the Christopher Nolan films in the early 2000s, and then we had the Bat Affleck uh, films, and now we have the Robert Pattinson film. It's sort of like a soft reboot, and I, I sort of like the style that they're going for you know it's a really dark uh even darker than the dark knight it seems in terms of visually it's darker and i really like the promotional art that they have for the batman so i decided to do this drawing now today as you can see i started off as always with the skeleton pose and um a lot of references that i've been using was pretty much from the promotional art and some of the older uh you know comics in the past and a lot that i seen that i like is that they have a lot of um harsh lighting with a red outline or red filling so that's kind of the uh style that i'm going to go for with this drawing so right now as you can see i'm pretty much just working on the the pencil line art just getting the basic uh muscle definition not worrying too much as always about detail at this point and um after this point i'm pretty much going to go into a little bit of the the line weight but um the line weight is not so much important in this particular drawing only because that a lot of it is going to be filled in with shadow and you're going to see that towards the end so that's what I mean that in this particular drawing, or if you're doing this style of drawing where it's like caroscudo lighting, really dark, heavy, like almost sort of like a a still from a, a movie, um, you don't necessarily focus too much on the finer details because you're going to fill that in with black anyway. Now, in this point right now, I'm just trying to get his the proportions of his eyes uh, correctly. It's just that... Um, in this particular style, the artist drove the eyes really um, sort of close together. So with the proportion of his head and the rest of his body, um, his head is not too big. So there's not too much space uh, to get uh, larger eyes and not make the drawing look too weird. So, But at the same time, you can't make the eyes too small because then, then he sort of look uh, handicapped and it, it won't look too, too right. So I had a... A kind of a hard time of trying to get the proportions right on the eyes in relationship to the rest of the you know the body and the head in particular now here I'm starting off the line weight and with this I'm using a like a zero one and then I'm gonna use a zero three but I'm not gonna go too heavy on a line weight as said before that because for one all of it is going to be filled in with black so it's not going to be too much cross hatching with this particular style with this particular style you just want the line weight and then the dark shadows that's it and then you fill it in with, with red and then you get the the look that you pretty much get the promotional art look that i'm trying to go for with this particular drawing now if you don't know too much about the batman is the movie is going to be based off of Batman Year One and Batman The Long Halloween. Now in Batman Year One, the story, it pretty much, it recounts Batman's first year as a crime fighter, as well as exploring the life of recently transferred Gotham police detective, James Gordon, eventually building towards their first encounter and their eventual alliance against Gotham's crime lord. Now with, with Batman Year One, some of the backstory, um, you know, with Bruce Wayne, 
you know, it says that Bruce Wayne returns home to Gotham City after 12 years aboard, training for his eventual one-man war on crime. James Gordon moves to Gotham City with his wife, Barbara Gordon, after a transfer from Chicago. Both are swiftly acquainted with the corruption and violence atmosphere of the city. Gordon is assigned to be partnered with Detective um, Arnold James Flass, and pretty much this is sort of like the precursor to the eventual um, alliance with Batman and Chris, um, Commissioner James Gordon. Because in year one, Batman is more like a detective, less than a full-on vigilante crime fighter. So that's why, you know, in this particular uh, story, a lot of his gadgets and his outfit and the Batmobile, everything's pretty rough is not as fine-tuned as the later Batman we're going to see now as you can see this is the final stage that I'm adding again not too much detail dark light and shadow and then fill in with red that's about it well this drawing is pretty much done again as always guys thank you for joining me I really appreciate it I'm finally back and I'm here to stay and look out for more I will have some more later on this week or next week Thank you. Thanks again, guys, and I'll check you guys on the next one. Midori out.